Hello everyone, welcome to PyLenin. In today's video, we are going to discuss get item and set item in Python class. In the previous video, we talked about string and wrapper and how to use them in a Python class. If you haven't checked out that video, click on this i link or check out the description. There should be a link. Watch that video and then come back here so you can understand this much better. In today's video, we are going to talk about magic methods or dunder methods. Dunder methods basically mean the methods start and end with double underscores. And get item and set item are two of those dunder methods. So let's get started. Now, what is the advantage of using something like get item or a set item, right? Here, I have defined a simple class. You can see I have a self.models. It's an instance attribute and I have assigned it an empty dictionary. Then I have two instance methods here. One is add new model and another is get model date. Basically the idea is any car company that uses this car wants to store the models they launch for their cars and their dates. So let's say BMW starts launching different models that they want to store the model name and the dates on which the model was launched. So this is a simple class in which you can store model name and also store their dates in the form of a dictionary. So now here you see I have, a, I have created an object BMW equal to car. Let's now start adding models. Okay. So here I can say BMW dot add new model. Let's say X1 and it was released on 2019 01 01. All right. Now after this, let's say BMW releases another model, let's say X2 and it releases on 2019 and another one after that, let's say X3 and this is released on 06. So now if we have already stored this X1, X2, X3 using this instance method and now let's try to get one of the dates of for one of these models so here i can say bmw or print bmw dot get model data get model date and here i can pass in the model name so let's say x2 all right so now if i run this you see it returns us 2019-0401 all right this is all well and good however i have to keep repeating the use of this instance method you see add new model i have to do it every time every time i have to add a new design this seems repetitive for this purpose for adding new elements to a dictionary or lists or tuples or for retrieving things from again those same entities we can use get item set item let me show you how so now let's remove these two instance method here i can say def first set item and you see PyCharm automatically fills up key value. So here I can say self.models key equal to value. Basically, I can now pass in anything. It doesn't have to be design or date. It, it can be anything. And then what I can do is I can say def get item. And basically PyCharm again fills this up with an item. And so here I can say return self dot models and then item so now every time i want to add a new design i don't have to call any method or i don't have to retrieve any of the data using some method what i can do here is bmw and i can just say like this and say model x1 equal to 2019 0101 then I can say BMW, it becomes as simple as this. And then 0401, let's stop right here. We don't have to add another one. If I want to get the date on which X2 was released, all I can do is print BMW X2. All right. And now if I run this, you see it automatically returns me 2019-0401. So this is the date on which this X2 model was released. So this is the advantage of using set item and get item in your Python class. 
you can easily add elements to various entities in your class and you can also easily retrieve them without having to call instance methods repetitively so i hope you like this short tutorial up about using set item and get item dunder methods in python class if you have any questions make sure to put them down in the comment section and i will see you in the next video